So here we are in Sigma Plot version 13 for Windows, and we want to do a t-test comparing two sets of data. I've already entered the data into the spreadsheet, but I'll explain what I've done. We've got two groups, for instance a vehicle and a drug treated group, and we've entered the data. We happen to have 11 replicates taken from each experiment, and here are the 11 replicates in the single column under vehicle, and a second set of replicates under the drug treated column in their respective columns. We've also inserted some labels, labeled vehicle and drug, in column number four, and we've created a bar graph of these data showing the means plus or minus the standard error of the mean for both vehicle and drug group. And we can see there seems to be a difference between these two. The correct statistical test to do to compare these two averages would be to do a t-test. Since we know what experiment we have done, we will know whether this is a paired t-test or an unpaired t-test. This is fictional data, but let's just suppose that this is one set of treatments of a certain biological entity, and this is a set of treatments of a different biological entity, and therefore this is an unpaired t-test. So to do this analysis, we go to the analysis pane, and from the drop-down box, we choose the correct test, in this case a t-test. But if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there are lots of other options, including a paired t-test. So let's just choose t-test and choose Run. This data format box allows you to select the kind of data we're entering, and in this case we are entering raw data, so click Next. We need to select where the data are coming from. We only have two sets of data, as this is a t-test, so we choose one as our first set of data, and we can do this by clicking on the top here, or we can just choose from the drop-down box and choose number two as drug. So now we're comparing vehicle and drug, and we click on Finish. Immediately the t-test report will appear on the screen. This is a very simple test to do and takes absolutely no time at all. And you can see there are two results shown on the screen. The first is a two-tailed p-value, and the second is a one-tailed p-value. We ran this test not sure whether it should be a two-tailed or a one-tailed, because we weren't sure which way the data would be going. But we would assume, being normally distributed, it would be a two-tailed t-test. So our p-value for this t-test is 0 0.003, so we are happy that it has reached statistical significance. We'll go back to our graph then. We'll go to the graph page annotation window, click on the text tool, and let's just say we'll add a star, two stars here. We'll select those two stars, and we'll make them a little bit bigger so we can see them on the screen nice and clearly. Let's make them 22 point and then we can drag them down. So now we've completed our graph, and in our legend we would say that two stars represents a p-value corresponding to the p-value of the t-test.